Welcome to Nerdsmithing. This is a channel dedicated to adult collectibles and not for children under the age of 13. Now let's get into some unboxings. That's right, welcome back all my fellow nerds and geeks. I know it has been a little while since so I did a video with all the COPA stuff, the holidays and everything. Um, I wasn't sure when I'd actually make another video. Uh, I've shot a few and just haven't really, uh, haven't really been feeling it. So I got something pretty cool today. If you guys follow me on Instagram at Nerdsmithing, you would have seen what it was and I wanted to unbox it. And I said, you know what? I want to do a video. Uh, I also have some other stuff that I picked. I've got a bunch of stuff I picked up. I'm just going to do a few things. Uh, I do want to say thank you to a uh, fellow YouTuber group, husband and wife, nerd crew. They uh, were able to pick me up something that is a limited edition from Disney World or Disneyland, either one. But uh, I am super, super stoked to have it. It is a pin from a Christmas, a Muppets Christmas Carol, which is one of my, I, I love watching Muppets Christmas Carol. Um, I didn't realize quite how big this pin was going to be. It's actually very thick. I don't know if you guys will be able to pick that up, but it's actually like a multi-layer pin so it is very thick double back i love the little disney backs um even though they don't hold very well when i put them on my vest and stuff i still like the little the little mickey ears so um super super happy to have this thank you very much nerd crew for picking this up for me so then moving into some pops pickups uh like i said i've got all kinds of stuff that i picked up all kinds of videos i did and didn't show and and that kind of stuff so uh, this one I actually didn't even know was coming out. I knew they were doing a line for this. And if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know that um, one of my earlier videos with my buddy Mike when we were doing this channel together, we did a video of like pops we want to see made. And one of mine was Mortal Kombat pops. And they did a bunch of Mortal Kombat pops. And they were all from, I think, Mortal Kombat 10 or something like that. But they pretty much made almost exactly what I was looking for in a pop. But then they came back and said, hey, we're going to go back and make some of the actual Mortal Kombat, the original Mortal Kombat. So um, I knew they were coming out with all these. I didn't know they had other exclusives. So I'm going to have to look now. Um, but this is Raiden. This is a GameStop exclusive, which it, it's the Funko Club GameStop exclusive. I love the little sticker. But he's he's holding his hands up, and he's got, like, the, the lightning coming up off of them. So, um, and the other one, he's just doing his normal, like, lightning pose thing. So, there is that. Uh, then, last week? The week before? I don't remember. Um, there hasn't been too many pop-up shop drops as of late and so I went ahead and I saw this one this might be the only one in the set that I get because they are kind of more of a plain pop and I'm I like the the you know superheroes and that kind of stuff but I love this movie and I love this part this character and this is Maximus from Gladiator and this is the Funko Shop pop-up exclusive these are the other two that you can get uh, like I said I probably will only get this one just because um, I need to narrow down the, the stuff that I get. And this is just such an epic scene. I actually, still to this day, would love to have this helmet to display. Because <laughs> I think it is such a cool looking helmet. But um, the detail on this pop is really, really cool. Um, I mean, you can see, it's hard to see with the lighting, but he's got his little horses on his chest. Um, and they just did a great job on this one so and he's got his little arrow in his hand that he was going to use to kill the emperor who's played by joaquin phoenix and i cannot remember clay uh commodus i knew it was something like that commodus so uh when i saw that one i was like yeah you know i wasn't planning on getting any but i i love that 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 part of the movie and that that uh, helmet and the, the outfit he's wearing so i thought i'd pick it up so this is actually one that i was kind of on the fence about getting until i saw it today uh, at Funko HQ and that is I already bought the common I didn't even know they were going to be doing this but this is the Batmite and this is the game uh, not GameStop the uh, box lunch exclusive metallic variant so um, 
it is really hard to find like a good box with these black boxes. They show everything. But um, like I said, I wasn't really planning on picking this up till I saw it. I do like the metallic looks a lot better than the common one. So I was like, you know what? I need to pick that up. Um, I might just give the common one to my son because he's got a little pop collection going himself. So there is that. Then I saw this at HQ. I didn't know when this was coming out. And uh, this was, I picked it up a little while ago. But I am a sucker for the 10 inch pops and I love dragons. And I do really, really enjoy this dragon. This is Mushu and this is the 10 inch version. And I love that he has got the little cricket in his hand there. So um, this is the only Mulan pop I will buy. Uh, I do actually have the first version of of uh, Mushu that came out the the I don't it was a long time ago and then they had a gold variant and I picked up both of those so when I saw they were coming out with a 10 inch version I was like yeah I'm gonna have to get that and I went ooh he popped himself right out of that so yeah when I saw they had a 10 inch version and I was like definitely definitely have to get that so there we go we have got the 10 inch Mushu, and this was voiced by Eddie Murphy, and I know they have the new Mulan movie coming out, uh, the live action, and I don't know if they're going to have a dragon, but if they do not have a dragon, then that movie is not going to be very good. doesn't have to be voiced by Eddie Murphy, but they need to have a dragon. So, um, but yeah, I definitely, I really like the this pop. I love the dragon pops. I'm severely running out of places to put... 10 inch pops I actually have you can't see it, it's right off camera here there's now a wall like half wall of 10 inch pops and I still have all my 10 inch pops over on top of the uh, thing over there so um, then moving right along uh, so the Fantastic Four is coming out and they're they've got a ton of pops and a ton of exclusives I am really excited because there's a lot of pops that from the Fantastic Four that, or there were some pops from uh, way earlier, older Funkos that I, they're really high value that I've always wanted. One of them being Doctor Doom. He's always been a favorite character of mine growing up. So when I saw they were releasing new ones, I was like, awesome, because I'm never gonna get the original. So I was able to get the common. I don't know if they're gonna have any exclusives for that one. I'll have to look and see. I'm sure they will, because they they've got exclusives for a ton of characters and they also have this month's uh, Marvel box is Fantastic Four. So we may get a variant of Doctor Doom in there. This is a variant of another character that I always wanted and they did such a great job on this. And this is uh, the thing and this is him in the trench coat. I did pick up the original, uh, the common, original the common, uh, because I was, I definitely had to get it. And then when I saw the trench coat one, I was like, oh, that is, freaking cool um they do have one other awesome variant of the thing as well that they have for the backing oh so they just have the little fantastic four logo for the backing in there which i do really like those backing ideas i think it's really cool so and if you have not gotten one of these thing pops yet they are massive they are heavy they Oh, they did such a great job on the paint on this guy. You can see that the rocks, they have great detail and shading inside the rocks. And I don't know if it comes off on camera very well, but it's not like they're all just darkened in. They're actually shaded differently in all the cracks. Like some are deeper, some are um, thicker. There's different bends in the head. I mean, it just did such a great job. We got some mold release on there. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is super super cool so then moving right along with the last pop of this video and one of the reasons i wanted this video and having to do with thing there and this is not actually slated to come out for like a month i think it was supposed to come out this month and they pushed it back to go to next month it is a target exclusive they're going to do like a bunch of stuff they're going to drop but this is another 10 inch pop it is the 10 inch thing, which is exclusive to Target. And like I said, they push the release of this back again till I wanna say it's like, I just saw it today. 
it's the middle of next month or the end of next month that they push this back to. And so when I first heard this announcement that they were gonna make this 10 inch, I, I know it doesn't like make a lot of sense with the characters. He is bigger than all the characters, but not this big. But I didn't care because I was definitely on board with, I mean, I like the 10 inch pops anyways. So the fact that it's a character that I, I wanted to get a common version of anyways, the fact that I can get the giant 10 inch version, that's pretty cool. So let's get this guy out of here so we can see him. His head is so big. <laughs> Sorry for the noise. Oh yeah, and he stinks of 10 inch pop. I mean, they, wow, that is so freaking cool. Look at that. It's a lot easier to see the detail in this and see how like each rock is like a different shape. It's not all just flat. They did a lot of uh, sculpting in it. You can see there, look at the, the different stuff. I mean, they did such a good job on this. And I mean, this thing is awesome. This is so freaking cool. Just massive. So you can kind of see there the difference in size, how big it is. Um, but yeah, that is so freaking cool. Even compared to the other 10 inch pop that we've got here, like, he even is bigger than that. So that is super, super cool. But I am really excited to get this one. I was kind of wondering how, because Target exclusives are sometimes really difficult to get. Um, so the fact that I saw it there, I was just, I was super happy. It's really cool though, because you look at this, just looking at the details in it, and you can see little cracks in the, the rocks and little cuts and stuff. So yeah, this is definitely really, really cool. So that is it for this episode. Um, holy cow, he is massive. But yes, uh, for now I am back, I think. I'm gonna just keep making videos and see what happens because I really did miss actually making the videos and, and communicating with people. I was still, you know, posting stuff on Instagram. I got a bunch of stuff. Some really cool things that I picked out, you know, for Christmas and um, some sales that came up that I picked up. Something I worked on, I, I, if you follow me on Instagram, you'd have seen I did like the the giant 3,500 piece skeleton, uh, Castle Grayskull Mega Blocks connect, Mega Connects thing. It was huge, it took like three days to build. It's right here, you guys can't see it, but it's right there. I'm gonna do a video on that because it was really fun to build. Um, so that is it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram, at Nerdsmithing, and as always, don't forget to stay awesome, people.